So in this lecture, I am going to talk about Lagrange's equation of motion. Uh, sorry, I will talk about that how Lagrange's equation of motion will help us to solve the one-dimensional simple harmonic uh, problem. So for this, as we know that, uh, that Lagrangian is defined as, as I talk about in the earlier lecture, it is T minus V, T is the kinetic energy and V is the potential energy. And for harmonic oscillator, in it is a mass, attached to a, and this is x-axis, attached to a spring having constant k. So if I give its extension up to here, and then it keep on oscillating in this manner here, it will move to here, and when it is released from this point, it goes to here and here and so on, and keep on oscillating. And I'm assuming that it is an undamped oscillator. So for such a oscillator, the kinetic energy is half mb, sorry, mb square, or I can call it as half mx dot square, and its potential energy is nothing but half kx square, or I can say that half m omega square x square, square. this is the potential energy, right? So this is the potential energy. Now, I will use the Lagrange's equation of motion and uh, I will use Lagrange's equation of motion that is uh, d upon dt curly L upon curly qj dot is equal to curly L over curly QJ. Here, since it is a one-dimensional motion, so for such a motion, QJ is basically X, right? So I will use this formulation, and my objective is to obtain the equation of motion, D square X over DT square plus omega square X is equal to zero, right? So Using this, I have to reach at this point. This is our objective. Otherwise, in Newtonian mechanics, we will start with uh, F is equal to, or I can say that mass into acceleration is equal to minus kx. I will, in that case, we will start with this, and we will arrive at this point. Right. But here, I have to start with the kinetic and the potential energy, and I have to be here, right? So this is our objective in this case. So let us proceed as follows. So I have to start with these two, and uh, using this equation, I have to be here. So this is my objective in this case. So let us proceed as follows. Let us try to calculate these various terms. So curly L over curly QJ means curly L over curly X. That's what I want to calculate. So curly over curly X, it is half MX dot square minus half M omega square X square. As this is a derivative with respect to X, so that means this term is a constant and this is a variable. So that means its derivative will be zero and its derivative will be is equal to minus m omega square x because its derivative is 2x and rest of the term is a constant. So that means it comes out to be half m, sorry, minus m omega square. Similarly, I can calculate curly L over curly qj dot and it is equal to d, sorry, I have to calculate this term. So d by dt of this means curly over curly x dot, it is half m, uh, m x dot square minus half m omega square x square. Now again, sorry. Now again, I have to take its derivative with its x dot because it is depending upon x dot and here it is a constant so its derivative will comes out to be zero. So it means it is equal to 
m x double dot uh, sorry not m x double dot but its derivative will be m x dot and its derivative again and if i take its derivative it is m x double dot right that's what i am getting here so i will use these two values from here i will use and put these values here so if i put these values here then what i am getting means i have to substitute this value here and this value here because this is the value of this so it means it is uh, mx double dot must be equal to minus m omega square x so m will cancel out with it so i can say that it is x double dot plus omega square x is equal to 0 or simply i can write down it as uh, d square x over dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0 so this is the required equation of motion and this is our main objective and uh, we can also try to find out its solution so to find out its solution let us proceed as follows or uh, to see the trajectory of harmonic oscillator how it looks like means we have to solve the differential equation if you are asked to calculate simply to find the equation of motion then this is sufficient and if you are asked to find out the trajectory or behavior of simple harmonic oscillator then you have to proceed as follows it is d square it is basically the differential operator x is equal to 0 it can be written in this way it's a simple steps to solve a differential equation so now d comes out to be plus minus iota omega so that means it has two complex roots then x is a function of time and it can be written as a e raised to power iota omega t <coughs> plus b e raised to power minus omega t right so this is its uh, solution and uh, let me rewrite down these things it is cos omega t plus iota sin of omega t plus b cos omega t minus iota sin of omega t it is a plus b equating real and imaginary part plus a minus b and iota is outside so it is the imaginary part it is sine of omega t so if i consider its real part then xt is simply a1 cos of omega t here i am expressing a plus b as a1 so it is its solution and it's basically a sinusoidal wave <coughs> and its trajectory is basically a sinusoidal wave so let us have a look at its shape that f uh, we are having a original oscillator and if i put some pointer here and if i slide a paper in the background of it then right so it keep on oscillating between these two points and if i put a pointer over here and if i stretch it from here then it means it's like this such type of wave we are getting Right. so this is a sinusoidal wave which we are getting right so this is the behavior of it we are concluding from it so it is a trajectory of harmonic oscillator so that's all for this lecture this is a very little application of uh, lagrangian equation of motion to find the solution of uh, 
simple harmonic oscillator. See, similarly, we can do so many other problems using Lagrange's equation of motion. So thanks for watching this lecture.